the pre-last verse of the book of Eicha, which we pronounce again in order to finish on it, is Hashivino Hashem Alecha Vinashuva Hadeshimino Kikedem. Bring us back Hashem and we will come back and uh, renew our days as in the old times. Uh, the Vilna Gaon comments, not on the book of Eicha itself, there is very little commentary of the Vilna Gaon to the book of Eicha, but there are other commentaries which he wrote in other places. This particular one is taken from his commentary to the prophet Yeshayahu, but it deals with this verse. And he writes that the uh, positive commandments, which correspond, of course, to the organs of the human body, to, to 248 uh, positive commandments. When one breaks one of these commandments, in a sense, he is uh, breaking, I guess, spiritually, this organ that corresponds to it. And the negative commandments have to do with days of the year, as it's known. 365 commandments, can negate the 365 days. The idea is, I guess, when a person... Uh, is not breaking some commandment, is keeping the negative commandment, it has to do with time. Positive commandments, you just fulfill it, and it's not a time-wise thing, it's, a, it's an action. Whereas negative, how could you say you um, kept, for instance, uh, kashrut, you didn't uh, break the laws of, for instance, eating non-kosher meat. It's a time-wise um, statement, meaning for the entire period of time, you never once ate non-kosher, so it has to do with time. But at any rate, each negative commandment corresponds to one of the days of the year. By the way, according to the Zohar, the ninth of Av corresponds to the Gidan Asher, the commandment not to eat that uh, sinew uh, after the episode with the angel. Uh, when the Torah says in Parshat Parsha Vishlach that Yaakov's descendants therefore don't eat Gidan Asher, Yaakov's children. Some say it was already one of the commandments given already in the times before giving of the Torah already from the times, of, from, from that episode and on, to Yaakov's family. And other opinions in the Talmud is that this commandment was given later, uh, as, as, as most other commandments at Har Sinai. Whatever the case may be, this is the day, the ninth of Av, corresponds to this sinew. And the prohibition of this day of the year corresponds to the prohibition of eating the Gidan Asher. So the Vilna Gaon says, that when we're praying, we're praying that all our organs will be brought back. When all the positive commandments that we didn't keep correctly will be rectified through this. But when we say, rectify or um, renew our days as in the old times, we are basically asking for forgiveness for the negative commandments, meaning all those days that were. Uh, destroyed or uh, were uh, made uh, not, not uh, good by our bad actions, that all of that will be fixed through our tshuva. Bring us back, Hashem, that will rectify both the organs of our body and the time, the days that we messed up. In another place, the Gra writes that the tshuva itself has to contain four different uh, uh, episodes, to four different um, parts in a sense. The tshuva that we're asking for is, uh, uh, of course, vidui is a, an integral part of tshuva. In fact, according to Rambam, that is the commandment. The vidui is what he counts as the separate commandment. He doesn't count tshuva itself as one of 613 commandments. So we have to uh, say, we have to confess the sin. We have to stop, of course, sinning, first of all. Without it, there is no tshuva. And we have to regret what we did and accept on ourselves that we will not do this in the future. All of this, the grass says, is hinted in the end of uh, the book of Hashem, the Haftorah we read in uh, uh, Parshat Shuva, Shuva Yisrael. It's all hinted in that verse. And may it be Hashem's will that we will in fact do full Shuva and we will deserve uh, that Chadesh uh, Yaminu Kikedem. This year was one of the worst years in the recent Jewish history after the Holocaust. There was probably no other year as difficult for our people as this one, especially the Jews who live in the land of Israel. Maybe the will of Hashem that we will deserve to have peace, true peace, not a temporary truce until the enemies uh, get new weapons and 
do another September 11th as they promised, Chas Shalom. But true peace that uh, we'll be able to live and a ohel, a sukkat uh, shalom, a, a, a tent of peace will be spread over all of our nation and especially over the land of Israel and over Yerushalayim.